Hello and welcome to Chocolate Cover Games Monthly Melt for November. I'm Tim. And I'm Doug. And today we're going to start off with a news story. I recently read in uh, Business Insider that the board game industry is predicted to have a 25% year after year growth until the bubble pops in 2024. So there's a lot of people looking forward to 2024 where you can get a lot of these good games and a bargain deal. Yeah, I mean, the the board game hobby right now with the world pandemic going on uh, is booming. A lot of people stuck at home. And what better way to pass time than play games? I, I think that's probably what's got their numbers, you know, the way they are. Is if they're saying them now, they're seeing the growth so much that they're going to be like, well, this industry is going to grow this much each year for the next so many years. And there's just so many good games right now. That's true. So, and Kickstarter helps. Yep. Um, I don't know if they factor that into that. Kickstarter has, has been a, a huge boost to the, the board game industry in general. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, at least if they're saying the 2024, we got a couple more years of the boom and yeah. we'll see after that. Then, then put all your money into Goodwill because that's where you'll see, you know, uh, Hate and uh, Dead Rising and all those other big games. Well, my news story for this month is uh, actor Will Wheaton has returned to the board game industry. Uh, many of you know that he had a YouTube series called Tabletop uh, that was big for getting a lot of people into the, the hobby. So he's teamed up with Games by Bicycle. Um, the, the, the Bicycle card. card Company has started doing some board games. Uh, there's some that I'm really interested in. So he's back doing some live uh, YouTube work for them at the Games by Bicycle YouTube channel, Facebook uh, page. Um, we just recently did a, um, a segment with Tom Vassell and Z Garcia from Dice Tower. Uh, along with um, Our Family Plays Games and a couple other uh, creators. Um, And then in December here, he's going to uh, host a uh, designer of Fumbling Ferrets. Okay. uh, That game. And I guess then throughout the month, uh, he'll just have more stuff on the, the Games by Bicycle YouTube channel. Uh, but it's good to have Will Wheaton back. Uh, we got to meet him. Yep, out in Vegas. And I got to talk hockey with him. Didn't even talk board games with him. I talked hockey. And it seems like a real nice guy. Good to have him back into the industry in some form. Yep. So that's my news story for this month. What's your Kickstarter? Uh, my Kickstarter for November is Bivouac. It is a worker placement uh, engine building game where you, you take part of building your own summer camp. And it's currently not funded. It's about 80% to 85% of the way of being funded. It runs until December 6th, so there's still time to back it. I believe it's a great looking, uh, fun introductory game for these mechanics. I think you should check it out. And mine is Macaroon. Uh, Macaroon is a trick taking game uh, where you're. Uh, trying to collect the, the French pastries uh, as a gift for King Louis. Uh, and you're trying to avoid the ones that have allergies. And uh, so winning the tricks gets you uh, the gift boxes of macaroons. Um, and it goes over numerous rounds uh, to get 10 victory points. Uh, we like trick-taking games. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and this one just, it looks interesting to me. It looks very colorful. Um, it has seven days to go, so that makes it December 1st, then, yeah. um, that it will be uh, done. It's 77% of the, the way to its goal right now. But, uh, like I said, looks interesting, and, and I'm a sucker for uh, cool-looking trick-taking games. So for the game this month that we got to play, uh, that I want to talk about, is Park's Memory. Uh, There were three uh, versions of the game. They're all a little different. Um, I enjoyed them. 
Uh, you wouldn't think that memory would be a, a game that, you know, as an adult you want to play, but I thought that the, the mechanics in each was uh, great and helped it. Absolutely. It's a, it's a memory matching game, which doesn't sound exciting for older people than kids, but it, it has a fun little twist where it gives you powers during the game that you can use, which I thought was really nice. Uh, both players have the same powers. Uh, you get to activate them when you make matches. And it has a nice little take that element because you get, there's only so many cards of each type. And if, one, if you know where one is, you can take it to take away somebody's ability to make a match. Yeah. Which is very nice. Yeah, and I, I thought those player powers really, uh, really helped uh, some of the suspense at the end of the game. Because in the one game, you had... You only needed one more match to win, because when you get three matches, you win the game. And I forgot that one of yours, the one you needed, was out there, and I was trying to get uh, one of the powers to stop where I thought it was, and I didn't get the power, because I forgot where the the power symbol was on, on the card, or which ones matched the power symbols, and not the park. So... But again, all three games play, you know, they're all the same, but because of the, the powers are different in each one, uh, they play different. Mm -hmm. uh, the artwork is just gorgeous. Oh, the box that came in alone is gorgeous. Yeah, the, the, the box, uh, if you get all three, it comes in a, a little uh, magnetic box that opens up, and they're all in there. Uh, the artwork on the boxes, the artwork on the cards... Um, I mean, this game sells itself on artwork because inside the box, in the bigger box, there's art in the inner liner. In all your inner smaller boxes, there's art on the inner liner of those boxes. Anywhere that there would be normally be a blank space in normal board game, they slap art there, which is a really nice touch. Yeah, and, and overall, we enjoy Parks. Uh, this doesn't play at all like Parks. It's just uh, it's a separate series from it, just using the, the same artwork. And uh, the, the artists they get to do these are, are fantastic. So check it out. Parks uh, Memory. Any of the three uh, are awesome to, to try. And as always, we like to end each monthly melt with a subject that's off-topic. And if you'd like to suggest an off-topic topic for us to talk about in the future, please leave that suggestion in the, the comments below. And I believe this month you get to pick this month's off topic. So what would you like to talk about? So for off topic this month, I'd like to talk about diecast racing. Um, we're involved in a, a diecast racing league uh, at a game table cafe that's local to us, um, and it also helps. We're the the voice of that, or I should say, the voices of that racing league, uh, which. To me, is is awesome. It it draws me even more into that. Uh, now, every time we go into a store, we can't help but go look at Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. Uh, so I feel like I'm a kid again, looking through those. But uh, the 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 league we're in is 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 great. Um, the they put a lot of work into building the track. Um, they put a lot of work into setting everything up when, when we've done it and, and I've just had a blast with it, um, being able to watch the races and then go back and, uh, voice over the, the races for online. Uh, yeah, um, I do enjoy the races. I don't get to see as much as him because when we're up there, they, they do put us to work. Uh, you normally are the one keeping track of the time and who finishes what place. I'm in charge of their computer, so I get to see the very beginning of the race and the very end of the race. But it's always fun to hear reactions because I know something happened when I hear, ooh, ah, or ah. Um, I don't know so much about voice recording. Uh, that's where my editing skills come into test with, between the two of us. We realize I'm not very good at reading a script and talking at the same time, so... Uh, that's why I don't write anything down for this segment, as you can probably tell with all the ums I put in here. But other than that, it's, it's a fun racing link. I'll leave a, a link in the description below if you want to see any of those videos and go support their channel and all the videos they put out. Uh, it is a very fun thing for us to do. 
I would say... How many races have, it, have they had? We've we run two. Two? I thought it was going to uh, No, we've we run two, and uh, there's been a, a lot of people come out for it. Yeah. Um, I actually changed cars from race one to race two, because uh, race one, my, my cars did terrible. So race two, I switched to uh, an ice cream truck and a train. Uh so, and I thought they did better. I didn't advance to the second round in, in either of my, my heats, but still, uh, it was a lot of fun. And, and like I said, you know, now I'm, I'm always looking in, in the Hot Wheels area uh, to see what's what's out there. And, you know, maybe I'll get my own track and, and, <laughs> and run some races. But if, if you haven't watched any diecast racing, uh, online, it's become real popular over the last couple months, um, and, and you know I would like to give a, a shout out to uh, the Game Table Cafe and, and Tom and John for all the work they've put in uh, to setting that up. Um, mm-hmm. Tom built the track, and, and did a very nice job. And, and John uh, has helped a lot with it. I'm not sure what all he's done. Uh, I know he comes and helps, and yeah. um, but. Check out the, the Game Table Cafe. Uh, if you're local to Central Pennsylvania, make sure you stop in there. Um, say hello. It's a, it's a great place, and I'm super glad that uh, Tom has decided to, to do this league. And, and with that, that's the end of November's monthly melt. Any uh, thing we have mentioned, Kickstarter-wise, or places to check out, I will leave links in the description below. And thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to this video. Get out. Click off of us. Why are you still watching?